Hi, this is Matt with SQLETL.com, and in today's demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to import a SharePoint list to Microsoft SQL Server. So first, to connect to a SharePoint list with EDIS, we have to set up a SharePoint connection. To do this, we use the procedure USP config SharePoint ID. In this procedure, I'm going to specify my SharePoint connection alias that I'll use later when I need to read data. In this case, I'm going to call it Sales SharePoint Service. Next, I specify the user ID and the password. And finally, is this SharePoint Online, yes or no? Uh, in this case, I'm connecting to a SharePoint um, list that's on Office 365, so I set that to one. I've obfuscated the user ID and password, but I've already ran this. So once you have set up a SharePoint service ID, then you can start using the SharePoint tasks in EDIS, such as reading lists, writing to lists, purging lists, as well as uploading and downloading document libraries. In this example, we're going to be reading data out of a SharePoint list called Sales History. So to do this, we use the procedure USP SharePoint List Read. I'm going to specify my service ID that I had just configured, the list name, which is called Sales History, the SharePoint URL that I'm going to in this case, and finally, my output table. I'm going to output the table results to a global temporary table called Sales Raw. Now, before we actually execute this, we're going to take a quick look at the SharePoint list. Here it is right here. You can see it's called Sales History, and you have these columns available to you. Transaction ID, product, reference order, transaction date, quantity, and cost. And so to read this list, we're going to go ahead and run this procedure. And the procedure just completed, and now we can query the results. And as you can see, it brought in all of our columns along with all the hidden SharePoint columns in case you need additional information from the list. But you can see here the transaction ID, product, reference order, transaction date, quantity, and actual costs. And as you can see, it did a thousand rows in as little as 10 seconds. And so this, again, was just a quick demonstration of how easy it is to use EDIS to connect SharePoint lists and import SharePoint list data into SQL Server. Thanks for watching, and please visit our website, www.sqletl.com, for more information on EDIS.